Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing another Game Maker 2 tutorial and I want to apologise for the lack of videos, I know it's been about 5 or 6 days but I have had some school work to do and I've also been working on my own personal game project uh, behind the scenes and if you guys want to see my the game that I'm working on make sure to go and leave a comment and I will maybe do a devlog series on that game, keep you guys informed on what I'm doing but today we're going to be looking at proper reloading in Game Maker 2, now this can be useful for your platformer games or your top-down games, or any game that involves you shooting and wanting to reload properly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our player object. So obj underscore player. I already have a 32 by 32 red player sprite set up. And then we're going to go into the create event. And we're going to set our move speed to equal 1.8. So this is our movement speed, and we'll be using that to move the player around. We're also going to set can shoot to false. Oh no, sorry, to true. And we're also going to do reload to false. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the step event of the player. And here I'm going to copy and paste in these keys that I already have set up from my previous tutorials. If you guys have watched any of those, the new keys that we're going to set up today is key reload is equal to keyboard underscore check underscore pressed. We're going to do ORD and then R. So the reload key is going to be the R key on the keyboard. We also want to do mouse underscore left. I oh know mouse left. So this is our shooting button. Mouse underscore check underscore button. MB underscore left. And if you want to do the right button, you can also do MB underscore right. But for the basis of a top down game, we're going to do left for today. So the next thing we want to do is if mouse left. So if we click the mouse left button and if global.ammo, which we haven't set up yet, but we will, is more than zero. And reload is equal to false. And can shoot is equal to true. So that's quite a lot of ands, but they all make sense when it comes to the basis of the tutorial. So can shoot is going to equal false after we are able to shoot. Alarm one is going to equal 10, so basically this number here is our fire rate, so it's how fast you want to fire. And then the next thing we're going to do is instance underscore create underscore depth x comma y comma 10, so it's to the front. We're going to do, ob and we're going to do obj underscore bullet, which doesn't exist yet, but it will do in a second after we finish off creating the player. The next thing we want to do is if key reload, so if we hit the reload key, and if reload is equal to false, and global.ammo is equal to, is, sorry, is less than or equal to 29. So making sure we're under 30 so we don't reload over the bullets that we haven't even fired yet. And global.ammo max is more than or equal to 1. So we can at least reload one bullet if that's all we have left over. Reload is going to equal true. So, and then alarm zero is going to equal 50. So the reason we're setting reload to equal true is so that while we're reloading we can't reload again so basically you can't spam the reload button you have to allow this whole action of pressing the R key to reload happen at least once before you can press the reload button again so we're basically not spamming it over and over and then wasting all of our ammo on accident. Another thing we want to do quickly just to set up our movement is if key up y minus equals move speed and we're going to close that off and then we're going to do copy and paste that and that would be key down is y plus equals move speed and we'll do another one and we'll do if key left that is x minus equals move speed and then if key right that is going to be x plus equals move speed. So that's just a basic moving system so I can show you guys. And then the next thing we do is we go into alarm zero in the player event. And we're going to do global.ammo max plus equals global.ammo. So we're going to add what we have left over. And then we're going to do global.ammo is equal to min 30. So we're going to be taking 30 ammo if it has that left. So minimum of 30 or less if we don't have that left. And we're going to do global.ammo max 
minus equals global dot ammo. So it's going to work in a nice wee system where we add the ammo that we have left over to our stockpile and then we check how much is left in the ammo max and if it's less than 30 we'll take less but then we add that to that so global ammo is going to equal that but then global ammo max is going to take away what this equals so it's quite a nifty system for basically stockpiling and that's why this tutorial is called a proper reloading tutorial so instead of you reloading and losing all of the clip that you just reloaded you're actually going to be gaining back the ammo um, that is left over. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to create an alarm one and in this all we're going to do is can shoot equals true. So this basically means your fire rate is you can shoot again so then you can keep shooting every 10 frames. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to create obj underscore bullet or else we're not going to have anything to fire. We're going to assign that to the sprite that I made and then we're going to do in the create event we are going to do what are we doing in the create event? I've completely forgotten. Um, move towards point mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y. We do it at a speed of 25 and that is everything that we need to put into the bullet. Now the next thing we want to do is create obj underscore controller and we're going to go to the create event and we're going to do global dot ammo is equal to 30 and then global dot ammo max is equal to 90. Now just to make sure I can prove to you guys this is working, we're gonna go to the draw event and do draw underscore text view underscore export zero plus zero plus sixteen comma view underscore y port zero plus sixteen and then string underscore hash and then two I'm completely mucking up my keyboard here. New line, there we go. And we're going to do string global.ammo. And then out here, we're going to add a slash. So we can do slash out of the max ammo. And we're going to do string global.ammo max. Close that off three times. And that is everything that you need to do this tutorial. We're going to go into the room. I've just set up a 1280 room with a green background. And I'm going to place the controller on the top left and the player in the middle screen and I will be right back once this is loaded. It's gonna take, my Game Maker 2 has been a bit weird so it's taken some time to load my project so I will be right back. Another thing I forgot guys is that you have to go back into the player event and put in that reload equals false as well as also putting in global.ammo minus equals one into the obj underscore bullet event. I'm sorry I forgot about these guys but I'm just gonna launch the game and prove to you that it all works now. It'll be one second. Alright guys, and our game has loaded and as you can see, I can move around and we have the ammo displayed in the top left, 30 out of 90. So if I shoot, you can see that it's successfully taking away a bullet. But if I reload, we should have 72 ammo or 78. 78, there we go. So it's going to take away what we have left over into the ma in the magazine and add that to our stockpile, but also take away 30 and fully replenish our active. So if we all go all the way down to thir uh, 0 out of the 30, you can see we can no longer shoot but when we reload we also can't shoot and yeah it's pretty good so far so that's the proper reloading tutorial for game maker 2 if you guys are wanting it to do it this way um so yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to go ahead and leave a like subscribe and drop a comment for what you want to see next and also if you guys want to see me do devlogs on my own game that i'm working at home without further ado i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one bye bye